The latest version of COVID-19 is highly infectious. Nearly all of Northeast Ohio now has high spread of the virus. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti has more information. It seems Ohio is seeing an awful lot of red now because of new cases of COVID-19. Essentially all of the cases in the United States at this point are Delta variant. The latest information from the CDC suggests almost the entire state is having what it calls a high level of spread of the virus, with more than 95% of the cases affecting unvaccinated patients. So given that, it doesn't really surprise me. The spread is out there. This is something that will be contracted by more and more people because the spread is so easy. As you can see by this map, there are just six counties in all of Ohio that are not listed as having high spread. According to the Centers for Disease Control, that compares to Pennsylvania, where just over a third of all the state's 67 counties are listed as having high spread. Although experts say the so-called Delta form of the virus is much more contagious than other variants, figures from the Ohio Department of Health suggest hospitalizations because of COVID are down over the last 24 hours and there were no deaths. We're still trying to figure out as far as the severity for the unvaccinated. We do know the hospitals are getting busier and busier over the last few weeks compared to the weeks and months prior to that. In the meantime, even though the government has authorized a third round of booster shots for some of those who had received the Pfizer vaccine, Kravik tells me it may be a little while longer before they're available. We're working through logistics. Hopefully within the next several days or later this week, we'll know uh, more specifics about the process for rolling out boosters. At this point, he says it appears those patients with compromised immunity are likely to be the first to be offered those booster shots. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.